This is Cumberland, Maryland. You know, it's fairly small. Um, used to be the second biggest city in Maryland behind Baltimore. Um, used to be a lot of factory jobs and everything here. And then, you know, all the factories moved, and so a lot of people went with those jobs. There's not really any big franchise, like restaurants here. Like, we don't have Chipotle here and stuff like that. I had Chipotle for the first time uh, two years ago. See, like, a lot of churches. There's a lot of mountains. If you look to your left, you'll see the borderline of West Virginia. And if you look to your right, it'll be the borderline of Pennsylvania. And it's, it's really out there. If, um, you know, you come from College Park, it's about three, three and a half hours. It's not like the big city life or anything. We're kind of like hidden away in the mountains and people tend to forget, like I said, that we're here. Cumberland to me is, it's a hidden secret of Maryland and I wish more people would come here to see it. Everybody knows each other. And if you walk down the street, they'll say hi to you by your first name. I think that's what makes us want to come back and be here and grow up here. Uh, but as time goes on, you know, you have an opioid epidemic here and you have some other negative things going here. When you see a success story like him, those kids look up to him, and it gives them hope to do the same things. It's a good thing for young kids. They, they need hope. Everybody needs hope. And Ty's a good example of hope for our community, hope for the small kids of our community. Can we just get a round of applause for this library? Do you guys see how amazing this looks? You show the world that you can come from a small town, single mom, you know, not have a whole lot. You can make your dream come true. We're proud to be part of Cumberland, and this library is something we can be proud of. I started my own recruiting with football in this library when I started out. My first time even reaching out to any college recruiters or anything, I sent 75 emails in this library. The first time I met Ty was in eighth grade. And he was probably just a number, just like everybody else. Once I got to know Ty, we gave him the ball a couple times in a freshman football game, and he had that special kind of burst that you just don't see from other kids. Chances are, if you give him the ball more, big things are going to happen. Here, we didn't give him the ball that much. Didn't have to. He'd make big plays with a few amount of touches. I think he averaged 17.9 yards per carry his junior year, and he got the ball 95 times. I, I like knocking off the big runs. Um, I like, you know, being that uh, the home run guy. In high school, at least three times a week, I was working on speed stuff. So, you know, I was just always wanted to be the fastest guy when I touched the field. I kind of did my own recruiting, so it was really hard. We are tucked away nowhere. People don't look up here. So we knew basically he was going to have to go out there and he was going to have to do it. And uh, he would send out emails. Every email was personalized, and I was doing that in class. Sometimes I'd get in trouble. They're like, what are you doing? Why are you on the train? I have your phone. I'm like, I'm trying to get the scholarship. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, first time I sent them out, it was about 75 of them. A lot of people didn't reply back. I mean, that's just how it is. When you send out 50 emails, and then that a week later, you only get, like, you know, maybe 10 to 15 responses. It was kind of discouraging. But we need to get him down there to that camp, Randy Etzel's camp. I think if he gets down there, he's going to open some eyes. And of course, he went down, ran that 4440. He brought me in his office, you know, during lunch, and he was like, Ty, I want to offer you a scholarship to play here. And I it was a loss of words, like, I started crying. Ty is the first Division I recruit from here in about 20 years. Johnson's out of the gate and on his way down the sideline. Ty Johnson, full sprint, 74 yards. He says, I have no regrets. He said, That's where I want to be. I'm home. I knew when I stepped on that campus I was home. my rock, you know, in simpler terms. She's the one that keeps me grounded. She did all she could to, you know, put 
clothes on my back, food in my stomach, and a roof over my head. And no matter what it was, you know, she was always making sure that I was good. And even though if she was struggling or having a hard time, you know, she always wanted to make sure that her baby boy was good. Growing up, basically, it was, it's been me and him. So our bond is very close. He was very easy to raise as a single mom. Not always easy, you know, to, to do that. I, I worked night shift at the hospital and I wanted him to have everything in life that he could have. So I worked the extra hours to make sure that he got what he needed. And when he said, you know, I want to play ball, this is what I want to do, I, I stood behind him and was like, you do what you need to do. If this is your dream, we'll make it happen. I really didn't want him to play. No mom wants to see their kid get hit. You know, football is a violent sport. He was in Pee Wee. They gave us a folder with the plays in it. And literally, it was the schematic of a play. So we took pennies and we labeled these pennies. Running back, quarterback. I'd line them up on the table. And I would call the play out. And he would have to move the pennies where everybody's assignment was. I wasn't going out in the yard and throwing the ball with him and tackling. It was the way I could, you know, teach him the game, teach him the plays and, and get him where he needed to be knowledge-wise as a young football player. I can relate. I grew up in a single mom home. And I always said that you, you need at least one strong parent. And Tracy is that strong parent. It was pretty incredible to know that the way he's been raised, um, the values that he has, he wouldn't be where he is today without Tracy.